Hello human beings of the internet, it's Ryan from Immaterial Gamers and this is Moonlighter. I should more specifically say this is going rogue. So uh, hi, yeah it's a new one. After our uh, completion of Void Bastards and successfully within the 10 client limit that I had, I've got a new game to have 10 lives on. Now this is a little different because I've, I've played this way back in the past. Notice this is <laughs> nearly two years ago as we have a look on the save game. But we're going to start a new game and it's going to be pretty simple. We're go <laughs> uh, what we are doing is we are going to play it on the hard mode as recommended. Because that's the challenge. Now, Moonlight is sort of unique in the fact... Well, I'll say unique. Yeah, I mean, it is in terms of a roguelike. It's unique in the idea that, well, you are literally a moonlighter. You are a shopkeeper during the day, and you are a dungeon explorer during the night. And we've got ourselves a nice little story explaining about the dungeons and this lovely, like, 8-bit design to, to the game there. Um, but yeah, as this is going along, look, this is our character. Our main character, Will. Um, this is the sort of explaining in this, you know, there was heroes and merchants, and Will is going to look to be the guy who could do uh, both. Yeah, the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons this was basically various dungeons that were unlocked once you were worthy enough to beat the guardians inside. So that's his whole uh, whole idea. The idea behind this is it splits between two phases. You've got the day phase and the night phase. And well, during the day, you can be a shopkeeper. And during the night, good old Will here gets himself sorted and checks his bandana. And this is how we play the game. So we just... You walk around, you destroy all the tables, and then you can move on to the next room. This will count as our trial run, by the way, because it's got a tutorial in it. That's our run. So a death in here, which will more than likely happen, is part of the game. Going forward, we will have 10 lives on the counter, and that's that. Oh yeah, there is also the idea that, um... Yeah, see you later, Golem. Um... See, this is just the dodging tutorial. As long as you're in the dodge, as something happens, you don't get hit. If you walk into it, you do. And now, we actually learn how to attack. So, so we've just got to make sure we don't get hit by the enemies. And if we do get hit, we can pick up potions and heal health slightly. Fail that, and we die. But we have two types of attacks. Ha! Ah. Whack. Beat enemies in a room, and you get the stuff that's inside. You learn about them, and you will learn overall in this handy book that Will keeps. The best prices to sell stuff. And as you can see in there, you've got the selling and reaction. The price that you're looking for is the second one along. If someone sees gold signs in their eyes, you're selling it too cheap. And uh, if your person is exasperated when they look at an item, you are selling it way too high. So the idea is to judge the best price and take these 11s off these chests. And um, what I was also meant to actually do was... Was, was, was take them. So I do that. So Will can hold five items on him, and his bag can hold 15. 
Ah, there's a quick move button. I'll, I'll remember that. So if we actually open it up and we do quick move all. There we go. Some items are cursed and they'll just mess up your bag. That's just how it is. But the idea behind this is, is to try and get through this. But I don't believe... Given... Yeah, given how... Um, Remember right, this is just a, yeah, this is just a, at least I believe it is. Oh, there I go. If you die, you lose everything. You need to spend gold to escape. So there's this sort of idea of, of using the god. Oh, blop. There he goes. So that's trial run. Full tutorial mode. So from now on, we are in. We're in play. Fi die in the dungeon ten times not die get knocked out and just chucked just like chucked out like ah all right will how's it going again you're unconscious good so yeah we've already got a couple of items on the list that's that they're there but the idea is to upgrade your shop upgrade your gear so, yeah, that's just how it is. Oh, yeah. Hello, Xenon. Which I believe is your, like, mentor figure. And I'm gonna guess, uh, remember that Will is the mute or the silent protagonist. You know, it's just how it is. Oh, Xenon, just... <laughs> Find some artifacts and use your pendants to get out of the dungeon. Never stops. <laughs> yeah, we need something. It's dangerous to go alone, of course it is. But uh, we have been given a sword and shield. But uh, yeah, that's how this works. I like how there's basically two things there's a shop and home. What's in here? Nothing in the chest, I remember right. Yeah, so however, in his bag, which we can't oh. Yes, thanks, Xenon. Yep, yep. I don't wanna open oh I guess I'll open up the shop. Okay, and then you get behind the till. So someone's looking at an item. There we go, they're happy. They will buy it for 100 coins. And that works. Now, you see, the other item that's worth 170 is a joke. <laughs> yeah. So, it's always the idea of, like, pushing it. And then also not just selling the same items over and over again. So, now. See, from what I see on that is that basically anything that's kept on will, will come through. Anything in the backpack just gets dumped. So, we have our book. We now know the crystallized energy. A good price for it is 100. And... That was the shortest shopping day known to man. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Surrogate dad. Or surrogate grandfather, I don't know. Okay, so. We've got that. We've got people to talk to. No, I haven't seen Massa. But, yeah, the other thing is, we need to upgrade stuff in this place. And, uh, can't do that yet. There's no, look, everything's boarded up because it's just basically a ghost town. However, if we go and explore in a dungeon, then we should be fine. 
to the dungeon place where the golem dungeon is. Dungeon available to mer merchants and heroes. Oh, you shot. So now I can block and then I can attack. So it's all good. Right. Let us enter for attempt number one. Oh, good. Like all the sound. So this is uh, Golem Dungeon level one. And I believe B is the pendant to escape. Well, I assume it is once I actually have the ability to escape. Right. Let's kick the crap out of these things. And get us some, uh, try and get us some items, shall we? Yeah. Got some sort of leaf thing. Alright. Ow. Let's keep an eye on it. Aha! You've been beaten. We've picked up some golem... golem bits. Let's have a look at what's up here. Oh, another... Ow. Whoops, I think I just used a potion by accident. Ow! Okay, what are you doing? So you can stop now. Good thing you're firing only straight. Okay. Where should we go? Where should we go this way? Left is usually bare. Hi, friends. Let's just whack yous. And absolutely nothing left in this room. Virtually a dead end. Ah, uh, hello. Let's learn how to dodge again. There we go. Don't want to fall down. Well, you were... someone. Yeah, at least we're, we're picking up bits. So we're all good. Oh... Um, Injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant, all but shattered, was from uh, all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say he'd fared better than I. <laughs> oh yeah, well, uh, well, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, Pete. Oh well. The dungeons are not what they seem. Oh, big boss gonna kill me. <laughs> I suppose to let them all out. Now have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be so upset with little me. Ah, uh, well, there's the map. Just again confirming. Get a key from the guardian of each of the dungeons. And you open the fifth door. And some loot. So yeah. So you get gold. And once you've got enough gold... You can use your pendant, which means you can then leave, which, for the purposes of this, which seems to be still tutorial at this point, we leave. But we escaped, which is absolutely fine. This is in the same way of Void Bastards. This is going to be one of those attempts at being a tactical playthrough of the game. Yes, hello. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, chance, chance. Well, I found what was left, Vault Pete. Yeah, I like how... Surrogate figure is basically telling me, look, yeah, do what you need to do as a merchant and hero. Go in the dungeon, pick some loot and get the hell out. Don't try and defeat the big bosses in there. That's stupid. But that's the game. <laughs> so we're going to. Ah yes. That's what we need. So we need to sell stuff. To then buy the shops. That will then allow us to buy better stuff. Yes, hello town board. 
Certainly not going to do it with 100 gold though, are we? So if we have a look at the investments of town, obviously man that wants to see, there you go, you want, you want gear, you need a forge. To get the forge, you need 500 monies. So, I think with the amount of items that we've got and the stacks, we should attempt to do that then, shall we? So what have we got here? So obviously this is not the right price we're looking at. So if we want to move that down to do the 100, be fine. We're fine, we learn about it. Now, I think the best way of doing this is just to sell everything at 100 and see what happens. Then we can always adjust from there. Right, so we've got all these stacks of vines. Might as well try and move one stack over there. So times 10. Uh, 100. Why not? It's probably not going to be worth 100 because, I mean, crystallized energy and that. Yeah. Then we've got a stack of root. We'll, we'll, we'll again do that at 100. We know this isn't going to sell, but we want to get, you know, prices. Hell, if it does sell, that'd be great. And then we'll also get some whetstone. So we will also, whoops, sell that at 100. 100, not 1,000. Okay, right. This panel allows merchants to return from dungeons in exchange of gold. Of course it does. Well, that's what we figured out. Right, so we got them there. Now, of course, I just want to keep all this in the backpack. Yes, we, we know about the get off. Right, so now we can move. So obviously we want to keep our potions. We don't really want a whole bag full of everything else, really. And, you know, it's going to get to a point where we will need to be cautious of, of, of what we're doing. What's in here? Ah, right, you're another chest. Good. So we've got two chests. And, uh, well, let's sleep and move on to the shopping section. So we're going we're gonna to learn pretty quickly how, uh, how badly this shop sale is. So let's, uh, let's do it. Let's open up the shop. Let's see what our adventure wants here. Let's see what he's going to look at. Okay, so just hanging around. Three shop keep, uh, three shop people. Sure. Okay, so they're looking at. Oh, absolutely not. Okay, right. So what was it that they just looked at that was? Uh, no, we want. The golden dungeon, don't we? How do I switch tabs? Ah, there we go. Golden dungeon, right. There we go. So we, oh, that's fabric. So we know crystallized energy is absolutely fine. It was, it was definitely the vine they took. They, uh, wow, so bad that they couldn't even get a thing. Right. Okay. So let's switch this down to fifty. Get a better idea. Okay, uh, man wants crystallized energy. He is selling crystallized, uh, buying crystallized energy. Goodbye. Okay, right. So definitely at that point, <laughs> they don't want that either. Right. Let's sell these at fifty then. Yeah. Oh, they're still unhappy with that. Okay. Uh, what about twenty-five? I don't know. I mean, the vines. Surely, people them for, for things. Hello, Mr. Armor Man. And you're looking at the whetstones and are absolutely unhappy with that as well, so that's half the price of them. See, we're learning. We're learning that I'm a very bad shopkeep. Whoops. Nope, nope. Back. I want to change the price. Change them to 50 each. Okay, so now you're looking at the... Oh, okay, okay. It's good to know. Okay, you, you're unhappy with both of those. Right, cool. So now we're learning. All right. So 25 and 25. OK, 
Okay, what about now? There's a special sale just for you. I... No, guys, come back. Oh, okay. Well, while I'm here, um, might as well see what else is there to put in. Uh, let's put this iron bar in. No, not all of them. Damn it. Quick move back. You back in me infantry. Now, iron bar. Okay, people are back again. Oh, wow, you are still not happy with that. Okay, right. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to put this iron bar in here for 100 and everything will be fine. And why did I do that? I meant to reduce the price of the... Right, how about 10? 10, surely, surely we can sell something for 10. Nope, okay, all right. Twigs, they're twigs. Surely everyone's got use for twigs. Oh, oh, what was that that he, what was that he went? Ah. Because it means we're getting closer. Right, so we know 170 there, da da da. Iron bar, no it wasn't the iron bar. The whetstone, ah, 25 for the whetstone. Okay, maybe we are looking at like 15. Yeah, maybe 15. Okay. Right, hold oh, whetstone. What are you unhappy about now? Is it the vines? It's the vines, isn't it? Actually, I don't know. I don't know whether it was the vines or not, actually. Oh. Oh, good. Good, we found the right price for the whetstone. Okay. Uh, maybe six. We'll go six. Right, you are unhappy with the bar. Okay. Uh, I will set you to 75 then. See, it's all about management. And as for the vines, how can you be in a. They're, they're a steel! Oh, good, the sticks. They went. Good, we're at 410 now. That's that's a good a good thing. But anyway, um, these vines they weren't going at even at 10. So let's set you to five and see what happens. And then for the bar, it's an iron bar. 50. That's as low as I'm gonna go. Meanwhile, I'm actually going to head back to that and maybe put them on there, because we know we can sell them for six. And then also, learn about the golden cores and these foundry rests. Oh! Well, he bought it. He's just not happy with it. Demand is low. Okay. So don't want to be putting more vines on. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with... 40? Yeah, let's do that. While we're here, uh, we know... Yeah, you know what? Go on there. We know they sell six. Let's do it. As for you, Golden Core. You know why we do this. 100. And Foundry Rests. You're also 100. We know they're not going to sell, but let's do it. Anyway, twigs. Yeah, that's right. You take your twigs. Go build a nest. Oh. Oh, we got the... We got the price of the golden cores, right? Now, however... Oh. We need to be selling the foundry rest for a lot more. Good to know. Right. While well, we're also here, uh, let's say it's a 30 now. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
I'll buy it. Uh, now. Okay, they've, they've gone. Hmm. So now we've got these to try and sell now. Which we know how this works. But at least we know that we're starting to learn prices, which is which is good. Right, there we go. Whoops, get back there. Whoop, back there. Whoop. Oh, okay, and you. This is all might as well sell it for now, because we need to build the shops first. Which we're doing all right because we've got more than enough money at the moment. Oh, it's a good, a good plan. Oh, oh, good. My energy. Oh. Okay, and we are done for the day. Right. So what we've learned at that point is that uh, they are not worth one hundred. <laughs> On to fifty. Okay, and the day is done. And you know what? So yeah, we don't want to be selling too many vines at the moment, because they're low popularity. However, we have made ourselves a, nearly a good two grand already. That's good. It's very good, because now, see this town board here? Let's invest in the town. Yes, noddy face. And I'm actually tempted to buy the potion shop as well. Because all we need is a couple of hundred gold in order to, to escape the, the dungeon first. So, yeah, we can do that. We now have ourselves a blacksmith. Which is great. So we might actually speak to the blacksmith first. Yes, alright, Andre. Hmm. Oh yeah, right. So at this point... We now need the stuff that we just sold. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to wish list this stuff first. Um, I like the idea of having movement speed and stuff like that. So we will add the uh, the fabric bandana to the wish list. And it means I'm also going to take the fabric off the store. Why would I, why would I want a rusty short sword? No! We would obviously like the good soldier short sword. But also, we do want a bow as well. Right, so, we're going to add that to the wish list. Um, we're going to add that to the wish list. And we've already got that armour on the wish list as well. So now we know what we need. The question is, how do I check my wish list? Ah, I can switch my broom to that. that means, ah, that's where I put my bow. Okay, so while we're also here... What else is in the shop? Bed. Small chest. Obviously we're going to want that at some point. We definitely want to level up the shop at some point. Uh, so yeah, we want the wooden hat. We want to... We want a potion shop. Because we're going to want potions for the dungeon as well. Hey, goodbye, man who's brought in to, to build things. Hello. Oop. Sure. Yep. Yes, yeah, get out, you book. Hi, Eris. So we want potions and enchantments. Okay, it's enchantments. What the? So we can enchant that, but there's three of a thing that we don't know what it is. Got you. Good to know. And that's that's where our potions are. What? Wow, that's expensive. Okay, uh, good to good to know. So anyway, I'm gonna sleep. Like I said, I'm gonna take the fabric out and put it in the chest. So that's the one thing that we know. Ah, see. Nice start to say that it's on my wish list. Right, back in my bag. Uh, well, back in my inventory and I will put that back. 
in there. Okay. Got a couple of potions. Might as well have another little bit of an explore. As long as we can get stuff that we think is worth more than 200. Or we can grab the gear that we need for our um, upgrades. Then we can do it. So I'm going to give this one more run I think. Just, just have a short episode just to get ourselves into it. And then we'll see, we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, Golden Dungeon, floor one again. Hi. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. Okay, right, it's not, oh, maybe, maybe switch to, ow. Oh, I can't shoot him, okay, ow. Uh, hi. I've ended up in another dungeon. That's a, that's a bad idea. We need to move. Right. Ow. Give. Ow. Right. That's obviously a bad start. Okay. Lease these gets. And go. Oh, got a lot of iron bars. Which is all great. Oh, can't check. No, don't fall off. No. Oof. Oh, the iron bars are used for something. So we need them. We need as much as we can and then we get out. Okay. Smack the chairs. The question is, where do we go? Well, while we're here, we might as well go with this. Ow. Genius. Get off. Get. Ow. There. Ha. What have we found in here? So it destroys an artifact in the direction shown upon returning to town. So we obviously want that like that. That way it's destroying nothing. What's this one? Artifact currently remains hidden while... Okay. So we don't know what it is. But... Oops. We know... Oops. Get back it. Well, we know it's on my wish list, so... <laughs> it must be on there. Uh, get... Are uh, you... Getting... Oh. Okay. Alright, fair enough. And what's this one do? Destroys artifact, uh, one artifact curse in the direction shown when placed. Well, that's the curse destroyed. <sighs> Except I messed up the nap. <sighs> Idiot. Should put them all together. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. They still only cost two hundred as well, so that's. That's fine, I'm happy to sort of make that high room that's just, yeah. Anyway, let us move on to the next floor. You are alright there, little sly? Hey, get off, get off! Did I say you could do that? Oh, you've moved away from your slime. Ow! Oops. No, it's alright. Using the potion is actually a good thing. Because I'm sure we're going to be at a point where we're going to be able to make more than 300 a time for... ...for thingy bops. Alright, friends. See you later. There we go. All right, and now we'll try again. Ow! Yep. Ow. Okay. We're good. We're good. Uh, what we like? I'm. Mm. I say I don't want. I don't want to lose so early on. I know that 
was shiny and I don't trust it. Okay, you're all side. The thing on this is, oh, there goes that loot. All right, go on then. Goodbye, golem. Okay, what have we got in here? So, oh, that must be place to the left or right of the bag. Okay. And you, of course, must be the same. Yeah, the game's heavily suggesting now that I, I leave. No, I potion. Give. Right, so he was saying something. Dungeon seems to be like being a peaceful place at one time. Now it's for the graveyard full of stone soldiers waiting for scavengers. I'm a scavenger. Alright guys, um, if you want to just come in and get absolutely wrecked, son. Okay, now look. Now it's seriously suggesting that I leave. I'm very tempted to. Ah. What's this? Oops. Hey, I wanted to read it. Hey, get right. Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Well, that's fine, because we're going to leave. Because lose 200 gold but I'm sure we've made ourselves some good bits oh sweet yeah you aren't destroying anything perfect now I don't know if I've actually got anything that we could hello daytime how's it going Let's see that was a good run yeah so um yeah we don't have any of that well, we got one. What about for the sword? What are we, what are we needing the iron bars for? Oh, for the bow, of course. Oh, and of course we need the, the things as well. Right, that's good though, because anything that's not in my wish list, we can sell. It's that simple. So we will, we will give it an idea, right? So we know that they're fine. In fact, if we place, add them into a stack of ten, um, whoops, I'll just move them, because it's just easier to do the stack of ten. Right, uh, whetstones, supply for those is still good, yeah? What are they, what did we sell them at, whetstones? Yeah, neutral, like they're good. Okay, that's fine. Uh, obviously, we can now stack them on top of each other because we need them. In fact, wouldn't it be easier for me to just do this? They can, they can go in. There we are. And that way, I know I'm not, you know, being stupid with them. They can stack together like that. Now the golem cores we need to sell for a higher price. I remember that as much. Oops. There we go. Glasses, lenses. Ah, that's what we need for the enchantment. So we might actually keep hold of that. There we go, right. So, what we will do. In place. And then you can go back. Golden cores can go in, and as we figured, certainly not at that price. Uh, where were they? What did we put them in for? 100. Yes, we... Oh, actually, no, they were a good price. 100 was the good price. It was something else that gave... Oh, it was the foundry rest, which we're not selling. That's fine. Okay, so, yeah, we'll start with that for now. As we get more stuff, we'll we'll put them in. 
See, these gold runes, I reckon, will be worth a pretty penny, so let us find out. Hello, adventurer. Or, like, woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Still, 50 is not enough. Let us half that to 25. Hello. Soldier mannequin. Okay, and we know now that the bat or teeth stones are not worth that either. Down to 50. Okay. Oh, what stones? I don't remember putting them at 105. But I guess I did. Sweet. Okay, right, so based on that, let us put those gold runes on the side and we set a thousand for these. We'll just see how it goes. I don't reckon they're going to go for that much, but you know. Yep, okay, so you're not happy with them. Not happy with them or them. Right, cool. Good to know. Right. 500. And they can go down to 10. And I think these got looked at as well, so down to 25. Okay, let's see how everyone goes. Oh, okay. I... Yeah, so the 10 for the little slime things are not quite there. So we'll move them to, uh, to 5. Meanwhile, something else was sold, wasn't it? Right, let's put the water lamp on. You know what? Just 100. If I get, if I get absolutely ripped off, so be it. I'll learn. Oh, he was happy with them. Then that's perfect. Now those gold runes, you want them, don't you? You want them. Oh, close. Okay, so we know now... At least maybe move them to 400. So, I'm really not happy with them. Okay. Down to 10, it is. Oh! Okay, fine. What about 300? Damn it. <laughs> Those water lamps worth a lot more than I've. Uh, I got. It's fine. It's all. It's all good. Oop, sell them. There's another 600. Perfect. Right. And everything is still good. There. Let's see what these lenses do. Uh, 100. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Oh. Okay, the glass lenses were at a good price. The teeth stone, though, not so. Uh, let's do six. Let's see how we go here. Hey, and I'm currently sold out of. The stuff? Surely I've got... Ah, oh, it's vines. Which are currently low demand still, aren't they? Oh no, the neutral again. Right. In that case, hold on, hold on. Eh. Let's well put a couple of vines on. But what we learned was that the vines... Eh, we're looking at like four, I think. Another set. And there we go. No one's going to steal any vines, are they? No, I thought as much. Oh, come on, guys. You do want to buy them, right? They don't want to buy them. Kick him out in a minute. Near the end of the 
the video anyway, near the end of the day. Are you kidding me? How much do you want for them? Well, I'll happily, like, take them off your hands now, but... Yeah, how about... Yeah, I might just, like, you know... Shut up shop. Because we're done. And with the saving, we are done for this episode. So, heading into the next run, we have the ability to get a couple of potions. Uh, maybe even... Possibly enhance the training sword so that we can at least last a little bit longer by dealing some sort of damage. Uh, try and figure out how to defeat those roly things because they just looked impervious. And not die. So that's the trial run and the first attempt off and running. So do the like, share, subscribe thing. Click the bell. Leave a comment. Even if it's just Ryan you suck at business. And <laughs> yeah, isn't that the truth? And we'll see you next time. Bye.